love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So, bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all of you that, are, all our visitors, and all of you that are watching and joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. So, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. How do you prepare yourself? Be in the right attitude. God's got something for me. Amen. Don't look at the person. Look at the, what God wants to send you, what the message God has for you. Yes. Amen. That's what you need to be receiving, amen, from God. Amen. You don't have to receive anything from me. I'm just speaking what God wants me to say. Amen. So let's remember that. Listen, we're going to continue with when trouble comes, when trouble comes, and it's going to come, <laughs> are you ready for it? Amen. David saw trouble when he saw the giant. Amen. And there was all kinds of troubles coming, you know, when, when Moses turned around and he, he, the Red Sea in front of him and the Egyptian army behind him <laughs> and trouble's coming. Man, he went to God. We got to go to God. Amen. So, hallelujah. Be prepared. When trouble comes, number two, this is number two. Listen, Lord's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens Amen. you. Amen. I need your strength, Lord, to go out into the world. Amen. Before you go into the world and before you go meet them giants, you know what? You prepare yourself and be with him and get yourself ready before you go. Uh -huh. But stay battle ready. Amen. Because yeah. we're God's army. Who else is he going to use? That's He's the head and we're the body. Yes. And we got to stay focused and we got to stay battle ready for Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. See yourself this way. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're a child of God. Amen. Amen. You're an overcomer. You know, don't let the past hold you back. Don't let people hold you back. Amen. You got to press on with what God has for you. Yes. Amen. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. But we got to live these things. We got to say these things. Confess these things. Confess the word. Get filled of the word. And stay hungry for the word. Amen. When you get filled of the word, it's going to explode. It's going to come out of you. Amen. Woo. Man, I, I can't believe what things you said. Well, it was God speaking through me. Amen. Amen. Woo. I'm excited already. I hope you're excited. Grab your Bibles. Let's make this yes. declaration together. Amen. Amen. Woo. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking to God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. My mind is alert. Amen. My mind is alert. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. Where is the battlefield? The battlefield is the mind. But I'm going to be ready. I'm going to renew my mind to the things of God. If you're not renewing your things to do your mind to the things of God, you know, you, you, you're going to go by the west side because the enemy's busy. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's got the world. Guess what? He's coming to the church and trying to take people out of the church. Amen. Well, he's been coming to church. This is where we assemble ourselves. We are the church. Amen. But he wants to steal from the body of Christ. Amen. Don't give him that option. Don't give him that. Amen. I got a couple of things I want to read to you. First of all, I wanted to say thank you to the praise team. Man, they, they really, they really brought it on today. Praise, listen, praise is a awesome spiritual weapon. Yes. It's a, it's a spiritual weapon. And, and then one of the songs they sang was this. We're going to be talking about when trouble comes. Well, listen, it is. It says rejoice for the steps of, of the, the, the steps of a righteous man yes. are ordered of God. Yes, they are. Amen. And it says in the time of trouble. God will uphold you. God will preserve you. God will sustain you. Yes, amen. In the time of trouble, God will lift you up. Yes. Amen. And it also says, for rejoices for your steps are ordered of God. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. You know what? Lord. Let's open our Bibles to whoo, Psalms. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm going to read this to you. It's from the King James. But it goes like this. Uh, it's uh, Psalms 36, uh, 37, 23, and 24. Are you there? Yes. This is my Bible. Listen, read. You know, I, so I, showed, I showed you that little funny last time where it says, God, you know, I want to I wanna hear from you. Mm -hmm. And from behind the clouds, a hand stood down and holding the Bible says, <laughs> read it. <laughs> we got to... Spend time with him. Got to spend time in the word. How else are you going to know his word? 
Right. You got to get it in you. Little by little, one step at a time. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Uh, verse 23 says this. The steps of a good man are ordered of God. Listen, if nobody ever told you this, call yourself. You're a good man of God. Good woman of God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And he delights in his ways. And verse 24 says this. Whew, though he falls, he shall not be utterly cast down. Right. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. He is there for you. Amen. He is there for you. But your steps are ordered of God. But you know what? If you get lost in the world and just give up and don't do anything, you're going to be lost. Amen. He, won't, he says he came so we might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. So we got to get in the word to find out what the word says mm -hmm. so that we can start walking in the word and start speaking the word. Amen. Amen. It says the, the, the faithful men of God and women, or God, the faithful men of God and women of God walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got yeah, tongue tied there. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. But we're going to be talking about when troubles come. Guess what? It says Genesis. In Genesis, the serpent came to visit Adam and Eve. Amen. So guess what? Every day, the enemy says of an enemy in John 10, 10, enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's going to come. Amen. So you just got to be ready so you can tell him who is the boss. Amen. No longer is he going to have you going by the wayside. You speak the word to him. Amen. And uh, let me read this to you. When trouble comes too, when trouble, <coughs> storms of life come, it says pray and let go and let God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We try a lot of times we try to tell him what to do and how to do it. We pray, but we're telling him do it like this yeah, Amen. yeah. no Come on now. when you when you when you bring it to him and give it to him you're giving mm -hmm. when you're giving he's going to receive it yes. but you, yes. you you let go yes amen you just have faith and yes. trust <laughs> amen so let go and let god it says when trouble comes it's used to describe difficult times in life when trouble comes we find refuge in him amen we go to him man he's our shepherd he's our pastor he's our pastor amen says we can experience peace by turning our look our focus our attention to look to the lord reminding ourselves of who he is and all he has done for us mm -hmm. and placing our trust in him amen remember amen i mean david said you know i'm not afraid of this giant he says you know when the bear came when the lion came god was with me yes. And he's going to be with me when I go against this giant. So whatever you're facing, mm -hmm. we all face different things. But whatever you're facing, know this. God is with you. Yes. Amen. He is with you. He says, I never leave you nor forsake you. He's going to be right there with you. We should not blame God. That's it. We must run to him when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must run to him. You know when the prodigal son left the father? He was gone. But the father came and looked for mm -hmm. the son each and every day. Mm -hmm. I'm praying for my son to come back. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's praying for you to come back. You know, you've been running from God too long. It's time to come home. Yes, Amen. Yes. He wants you home. And the father came and looking for the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. And you know what? One day the prodigal son had enough of the world. Oh, yeah. Amen. I, I try to do things on his own way. So he says, you know, I can go back to Father and I can do better in Father's house. Mm -hmm. And he came back. And you know what? When the father saw the son coming down the road, mm -hmm. he said he ran to him. Yeah. Amen. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to come home. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. That's it. Amen. So we just got to stop uh, yes. falling for the things of the world. Amen. And, and look to yes. him. Look Instead, up. we should run to him and remember yes. what the Lord has done for us in the past and, and expect him to restore what the enemy has taken away from us. Amen. Woo, my yes, hallelujah. Yeah. Woo, praise God, man. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Psalm 86 and 7 says this, when trouble comes, I call on God. How do we call on God? Mm -hmm. We pray. Spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go to the next one. It's the same thing. It says this, in the day of my trouble, I will call to you for you will answer me, Psalms 86 and 7. Man, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. We're expecting him to answer. But you yes. know what? He wants relationship. He wants to be there for us, but we need to be there also for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, 
we talk about this all the time. We need to be available. Yes. When God needs you, be available. I guarantee you, my military days, <laughs> when they call on you, you better be battle ready. Mm. And you better be ready to go. Amen. They ain't going to say, well, you know, not today. You know, I don't feel yeah. like it. I'm sick. <laughs> Whatever excuse you want to give, you either go or you're going to find yourself yeah. in the bridge, in yeah. jail. <laughs> you're going to be arrested. <laughs> or you're going to be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> John 16, 16 we're just going to review some and then we're going to get right into it he said, John 16 33 says uh -huh. this and these things I have spoken in you in me you will have peace in the world you will have tribulations you're going to have troubles Oh yeah. but no you're a child of God yeah. Yeah. Amen. and God is with you so mm -hmm. you got to know what the word says and, and be a good cheer I have overcome the world yes. and he says what I've done you can do also uh -huh. the Bible says you can do all things through Christ Amen. But you got to put the word first. You got to choose him as number one. You got to dethrone yourself and Amen. put him back yes. on the throne. Amen. And yes. and serve him. He's your first priority. Yes. Amen. He's your first priority. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. That was your first miracle yes. right there. Amen. Yes. And you know, if he, if he woke you up, that means he's got assignments for you. Mm -hmm. He's not finished with you. That's it. So maybe we just say, hey, man, he woke me up. I woke up, so I'm just going to do my thing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what he wants us to do. That's right. we, need, we need to get our priorities right yes. so we yes. can get busy for him Amen. and doing for him. Amen. Troubles come to all people, saving and unsaved. Yeah. We know that when it rains, it rains on saving and unsaved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. His word says so. He says, storms come, families, uh, health, marital. Uh, financial addiction problems mm -hmm. and they all come we've all been through these storms mm -hmm. some of us uh, we talked about this some of us camp out mm -hmm. you know uh, we, we, we ain't talking about just days we're talking about weeks we're talking about months we're talking about years mm -hmm. man I've been fighting this for years mm -hmm. it's it's time you stop stop it you know mm -hmm. you know you got that losing cycle mm -hmm. just like the little hamster on the, on the little wheel that's up going 100 miles an hour. Mm. But he ain't going nowhere. Yes, he He's still in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Amen. Insane meaning <laughs> we're expecting different results, you know, doing the same thing, but we're expecting different results, mm. you know. But we're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. we, we, we have to stop that. Yes. We magnify the storm more than mm. God. Mm. Can't do that. Amen. We magnify the storms of, uh, of troubles, tears more than God. Magnify him first. Matthew 6 we said all yes. that amen and uh, the fact that we are saved doesn't mean the trouble will never visit us that's it that's it we need to know this it's yeah. going to come you know when Jesus was in the world and mm -hmm. troubles came yeah but he went to the father you know you know how many times he, he didn't say well I'm bored I'm get me out of here <laughs> you know you know these people around me you know they're so <laughs> negative I, I don't want anything to do with him. Mm -hmm. He came to be sacrificed. He yes. knew this. And he still was strong enough to say, Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, Father. He said, Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I need your strength. I want to fulfill what you sent me to do. Yes. How I'm going to fulfill. Mm -hmm. If you knew you was going to be sacrificed, would you would you be that faithful? Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, they got people nowadays still going and doing this crucifixion, you know, crucifying mm -hmm. themselves. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus already did it once and he did it for all of us and he did it for salvation. You know, if you don't understand this, salvation is free. But you yeah. have to receive it. You have to confess it with your mouth. When you confess it with your mouth, it's for you and you can have it. But now start living for him. Start living for him. You know, and find out what instructions you have. You know, go in the word and open the word and read the word so you know what to do. Yes. Amen? Because trouble is going to visit you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so you know what, what to do. Amen. Yes. So sometimes we gotta change company. Sometimes mm -hmm. we gotta change friends. Yes. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> we want to hold on to the world. We talked about being lukewarm. You don't want to hold on to the world. We're to hang on to God and please both things, you know. Mm -hmm. And God says, I'm not having none of that. <laughs> you know, I, I don't like what he said, but I don't like the words he used. He says, I'm gonna spit you. I'm gonna mm -hmm. vomit you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't wanna be lukewarm. I wanna be on fire for God. He said, I'll accept you cold better than lukewarm. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Mm -hmm. We can be 
hot for God. Yes, amen. You know, the world, I guarantee you, man, every time you see a stadium full of a game going on, it's packed. A basketball game going on, oh, yeah. a stadium, a, a, a co concert going on, you know, yeah. any worldly thing going on, you know what? Mm. They're sold out. Mm. Yeah. Man, we got empty seats in all our churches. Yeah. Nobody's coming. Nobody, nobody hungry for God. That's sad. Mm -hmm. And we need to reverse that. Because the world didn't die for you. Jesus did. Yes. Amen. Amen. We, we need to be on fire yeah, for him. Amen. Yeah. amen. We need to have all the seats. You know, when you get a chance and you come, well, I used to do this, but I still do. You see all the empty seats? Well, you don't have to see. You don't have to pray for all the empty seats. I said, Lord, fill the, all these seats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. And you know what? When I go lay hands on seats, I just say, Lord, whoever sits in this chair, mm -hmm. bless them, Lord. Yes. You know their needs, Lord. Mm -hmm. Bless them, bless them, bless them, Lord. Whatever the need is, uh, health, it don't matter. Finances, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, Lord, bless them. Yes. Arrest them, Lord, and just take them. Thank you, Lord. And just meet their, that need, Father. Mm -hmm. And fill all the empty seats also. Yes. We can do all this, you know. Just you're praying. Don't don't yeah. just complain. I ain't going to that church, you know, because ain't nobody going there. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll do something about it. Pray about it. Yes. You know, pastors are preaching uh, a great message. Pastors preaching what God wants them to say, mm -hmm. and nobody wants to come. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Amen. <coughs> but you let a. A rodeo, or you let a concert or some worldly thing come, man, and that place is packed. Yeah. That's 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 that's, that's not right. Yeah. When storms come, realize your source. God is my source. Storm problems always get our attention. Amen. First, realize your source, <laughs> Jesus. Not the world, not booze, not drugs, not anything else. When you get sober, mm -hmm. guess what? When you come off your high, guess what? You still got a problem. Yes. <laughs> you still got a problem. Probably more. <laughs> you know, probably more. Hey, you know what? I've told you this so many times. If you want to get high, get high on the most high. And you will have no side effects. <laughs> Amen. And you're going to be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You cannot get away from it. Without God, nothing, nothing can take his place. That's it. Amen. This world can't take his place. Money can't take his place. Uh, booze, drugs, any, none of them could take his place. The people can't take his place. Only, only, only Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Only Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! Let me see your hands. No stones. <laughs> Realize your source and have an attitude of gratitude. Depend on him. Storms will come. And hopefully it'll drive us to God and not yes. away from God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Be careful. Who you hang out with mm. because you'll say hey you know what hey we got this going on today man and you go into this meeting man, forget about it man do it another time let's let's go do this mm -hmm. that's friends you know what it's time to find new friends lord mm -hmm. <laughs> i need i need surrounded with with new friends <laughs> this is what i said unload 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 uh, all this excess baggage, baggage. Get yeah. rid of all the weight. Mm. Unused, all this weight needs to go. Mm. Amen. You know what? You're trying to take care of all these cares by yourself. Yeah. And, and what did Jesus tell us? Mm. He says, give it to me. Mm. Cast it on me. I've got a mission for you. You're not going to fulfill this mission if you're carrying all this weight. Right. You can't do anything about it. He says, but I can. Mm. So why are you still holding on to it? Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see what else we got coming. Hallelujah. Facing problems, hardship, mm. and problems. God is there to help you. Mm. Amen. God is a refuge and a strength, a very present help in trouble. Yes. Psalms 46 and 1. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Mm. Man. This is this is this is is this is great. Yes, Amen. Keep going. Okay. Says we we're bombarded daily. But it's negative for them. Everywhere you go. Okay, and you don't have to go anywhere. All you have to do is open your cell. Look in your cell. Look at your TV. Amen. Look at the internet. Your your newspapers, your radios, people, family, friends. They're all negative. Yep. Amen. But he's got good news for us. So we need to be in him so that we can have the good news. 
how, what do you want to give them? You want to give them the good news. I know you're around negative news all the time, but we want to bring the good news to people. You know, they, they used to be in doubt beat all the time. They're no good. They won't amount to anything. They yeah. can't do anything. Mm. When you bring them a kind word, and yes. you bring them the word of God, amen. 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 Speak, yeah. speak, power, speak the power of faith-filled words, mm -hmm. amen. Woo. Change your attitude about the words you speak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can Absolutely. change your life. They can change your future. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. All you need to do yes. is speak these words. Amen. Uh -huh. See, words are like seeds. You got to sow yeah. them. Amen. Yeah. And just watch them grow. Yeah. Amen. And watch them. It's going to change your life. Amen. I want my life to change. You know why I want my life to change? I want my life to change to be more Christ like. Amen. Amen. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2 says that for us to be imitators of God. Amen. But we try to imitate the world. We try to imitate other friends. We try to imitate everything but God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to imitate Him. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Lord. <laughs> they can change your life. They can change your future. Amen. Yeah. Listen. Quit going around sowing negative seed. Quit yes. going around. The Bible says in, 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 uh, in Proverbs 18 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the words you speak. Mm. So be careful what you say. Mm. It says when you when trouble comes, listen, when trouble you can write this. When trouble comes, pray, seek, speak the word. When when when, when trouble comes, pray, seek, and speak. Uh -huh. Faith fill words. Right. Amen. Something that's going to be positive for you. I, I'm going to sow me a garden. I'm going to yeah. sow a garden. I'm going to plant me a garden. We'll plant positive things in it. Yes. Not negative things. Amen. I don't want to grow negative things anymore. When they stop sowing them. <laughs> if you, you know how you stop sowing them? Uh -huh. You stop speaking them. Yeah. Because when you speak, words are carriers. Yes, and they, they carry are. life or they carry death. Yes. But you're sowing them. So don't say them anymore. You won't say them anymore. Just speak the positive words. Amen. Uh -huh. People react to trouble in different ways. Listen to this. Some grumble, some gripe, some groan, some growl. <laughs> oh. Grumble, gripe, groan, or growl. But the children of God, we grow from it. Yeah. And we mature from it. Uh -huh. You know what? I I hit my thumb on it with, with the hammer. Uh -oh. I ain't going to do it again. I, I slam the door on my hand. I ain't going to do it again. <laughs> Guess what? You're growing. You're maturing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Amen. This is good. That I, I'm not going to go and do it again. Oh, man, that feels good. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. Listen. This is how some people react. They grumble, gripe, groan, or growl. But children of God, we grow. We mature. Yes. Amen. We're maturing. We're growing. We go, we're growing. Amen. Better levels for God. Amen. Yes. Troubles will never leave a person the same way. Mm -hmm. They either leave you bitter or they leave you better. Oh my. But this yeah. is this is up to you. I mean, are you walking it and talking it? Are you doing the right walk and the right talk? You know? Hopefully it will leave you better. Yes. Amen. Like I said, you know, when you stand in front of the mirror, I need to Lord, I need to fix this problem right here. That's your biggest problem right there. We gotta deal with this problem. Yes. We gotta we gotta we gotta mm -hmm. fix this. So trouble never leaves the person the same. Mm -hmm. Either That's bitter good. or better. That's good. You can live a successful life even in the midst of troubles. Yes. Amen. Yes. You can live you, there's all kinds of things going on around you. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I have peace. Yes. yes. I have Amen. peace. And the Amen. next uh, the next uh, scripture here is gonna tell you more about that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus calms the storm. Yes. Amen. Let me see. Keep going. Keep going. It says not to worry. Don't worry. There we go. Right there. <laughs> Matthew 8, chapter 8, verses 23 and through 27. Mark 4, 35 through 41. And Luke 8, 22 through 25. These all give this account of Jesus calming the storm. And I'm going to read it to you. Jesus, Jesus told his disciples, let's cross over to the other side. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He already spoke. He already gave his word. Yes. And then guess what he did next? He went and laid down and fell asleep. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Amen. <laughs> During the storm as a crossing on Lake Galilee. Amen. <laughs> it says, Luke uh, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41, New Living Translation. It says, 35 says, e Evening came, Jesus says to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side. 36. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving crowds behind. But guess what? Other boats followed. Hmm. 37. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves began, were breaking into, into the boat, and it began to fill with water. 36. Guess what? Jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat, his head on a cushion. Hmm. The disciples woke him up, shouting. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a fierce storm. Mm -hmm. And they come and they were shouting at Jesus. <laughs> Says, Teacher, don't you care? We're going to drown. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about mm -hmm. a real physical yeah. sea storm. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about storms in our lives. Yes. They calm. You know how to calm them just as Jesus did. We can calm those storms. What did he do? He spoke the word. Uh-huh. You need to speak the word and walk the word. Amen. And walk in faith, not in fear. Amen. <laughs> so Jesus wakes up. <laughs> and not, not now, I'm asleep. Let me, let me sleep some more. <laughs> 39 says, when Jesus woke up, <laughs> he rebuked the wind and he said to the waves, Silent, be still. Mm -hmm. yep. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was yeah. great calm. Yeah. I guarantee you, the people in the other boat following, they were glad too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 40 says, and then he asked him, why are you afraid? Mm -hmm. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You're not walking in the word, you're walking in fear. You're not walking by faith, you're walking in fear. Mm. And he says, do you still have faith? <laughs> He's been teaching them all this time. Mm. And they still, they've seen miracle after miracle after miracle, and they still have no faith. Yes. Yeah. They could have spoke to the storm, but they went and woke Jesus up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> Jesus is here mm -hmm. in the Holy Spirit in us. This body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. He's yes. in heaven interceding for us. Jesus mm -hmm. is at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Spirit is with us. And you know what? When you study his word, you, you mature in the things of God, in the word of God, and now you can speak the word. Yes. And his word is powerful. Amen. And it will go and accomplish what he sets out to do. Because he told us this. Amen. His word, his word is powerful. We need to speak the word of God. Amen. Yes. Let me see. Where am I at? It says, 41 says, the disciples were absolutely terrified. Mm. Who is this man? Mm. They've been living, they've been walking with him, living with him, <laughs> being with him all this time, and they still say, who is this man? Mm -hmm. My God. Mm. You know, when you have a relationship, you know who your yes. heavenly yes. father is. Amen. You get to know him. Amen. And, and, and he's there for you all the time. He never leaves you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. He's there with you. So you get to know him. But he gets to know you. And he knows the worst things about you. Mm -hmm. And he loves you the most. And he's not giving up on you. Amen. So you watch and you listen. He's not giving up on you. That's you it. fall so many times. But guess what? It's time to get up. Amen. You know when you get up. You know what you need to do is say Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sinning against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. He says dust yourself and press on. Mm -hmm. I've got great plans for you. Yes. Amen. He's not giving up on your people do. Yeah. But God never gives up That's on you. It. Amen. That's so it. let's remember that. And it's time to start living for him. Start going yeah. for him. Getting stronger and stronger each day by getting in the word, by having a relationship with him. Amen. Hallelujah. The disciples were terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Huh. Man, wrong crowd to ask. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who, who is this guy? <laughs> Even the winds and the waves obey him. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You may just be a little somebody, mm -hmm. but when you speak the word of God, yes. things have to obey what the word yes. of God says. Yes. That's Amen. That's what the word of God says. So we just yeah. got to be faithful and, and speak it out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Troubles come doesn't mean you have to accept them. Right. 
Troubles visit us every day. Don't mean you got to accept them. That's you don't it. have to accept them lying down, throwing the towel, quit, or That's give it. up. That's it. Listen, give it into the world, worldly ways. Give it into cares yeah. or booze or drugs. We are not quitters or losers. That's it. This is what you need to know. Mm. We're learners. Yes. And we're learning God's word and we're learning God's ways Amen. of what to do. Amen. So we're learners. That's you know it. what? Jesus don't go around calling us uh, losers. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He calls us his children. Yes. Yes. So yes. see yourself that way. He's yes. our heavenly father. If he's our heavenly father, we're his children. Yes. Yes. So see yourself as a child Amen. of God. Amen. And see, your, you know, children are always learning things. So as a child oh, yeah. of God, I'm learning things. And yeah. you know how you learn things? You open your Bible mm. and you read the Word and you learn things. Amen. Mature in the Word. Yes. Yes. You don't want to stay a baby Christian all your life. No, no. Amen. You want to grow and mature in the things mm. of God. Amen. He has bigger and better things for you. But yes. you got to grow. He's going to promote you to new levels oh, and new heights, you know. But remember, yes. new levels, new devils. New levels, so, new devils. Mm -hmm. You just got to know. Amen. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yes. Amen. So see yourself a learner. Learning God's word. Learning God's ways for us. We're winners. See yourself. You can call yourself, I'm a winner. I'm an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. Uh -huh. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes. But you got to speak these things for yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to speak the word of God over yourself. You know, we're so quick to cut ourselves down and say negative things about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And people... Have no problems with that. No, They'll no. tell you where to go right away. Oh, yeah. Real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. If not, they'll, yeah. they'll use sign language to let you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But oh, you know what? Hey, that oh. don't affect me. That don't bother me, you know, because I know whose I am and who I am. And yes. am. That's, that's, that's what I need to know. Who I am and whose I am. And that's what David says. This giant is... Five times bigger than me. Mm. But he ain't bigger than my God. That's it. That's it. Amen. Nothing is bigger than my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember that. He's my God. He's not your God. He's my God. Okay. <laughs> 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 we cannot escape from encountering troubles in life. But Jesus has given us the power and the authority to drive troubles or storms away. Yes, he has. To calm our every storm. Yes. Just like he got up and showed us. Yeah. He, he showed, he was still teaching his disciples. Mm -hmm. Storms are going to come. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm gone. Yes. Storms yeah. are going to come. Storms of life are going to come up mm -hmm. each and every day. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I know what to do. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to speak the word. I'm going to mm -hmm. speak the word. I'm going to live for him. I'm going to speak faithful words. Amen. Mm -hmm. Use his power and his authority. Speak the words. Uh, and, and, and calm every storm of your life. Yes. You can do it. Yeah. The Bible says you can do all things all through things Him. Right. You cannot, uh, listen, <laughs> I'm going to say this the best I can. You cannot prevent birds of trouble, mm -hmm. storms, or cares from flying over your head, mm -hmm. but you can stop them from building nests in your head. Mm -hmm. That birds. <laughs> <laughs> birds. Yeah. This, this yeah. is your life. You don't have to. They cannot come and build those mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. No, unless you allow them. Yes, that's it. Amen. Unless you allow them. It says the devil comes a roaring lion seeking mm -hmm. who he may devour. Yeah. How does he know? Because mm -hmm. you've been speaking a negative yes. word. You've opened the door. He's going to come in and mm -hmm. live. Mm -hmm. And he's going. You going. He's going to want to stay there forever. Mm -hmm. But them birds don't come and want to build a nest on you. Exactly. But you say, wait a minute, mm -hmm. no, door's closed. Shut the door. Yes. Speak the right words. Amen. Don't quit speaking the, the same thing. Well, mm -hmm. the world says it this way. So you don't have to say what the world That's says. Right. Say what the word, word says. says. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, big difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop running from trouble, storms, worries, or cares. Take a stand. Speak the word and calm every storm. Mm -hmm. Man, right there. You can't go wrong with this. And then you got to take a stand. The Bible tells in Ephesians, you know, uh, 6, 13 and 14, it says, when you've done all you can do, it says, put on the whole armor, and when you've done all you can do, is make a stand. And I'm going to stand. 
And my mm -hmm. faith roots are going to dig deep because I'm studying in the Word. Mm -hmm. And those roots are going to go deep. And I'm yes. not going to be moved. Yeah. And I'm not going to confess the negative things. Yes, I'm going to confess the positive things. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen yes. to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I shall not even it says, James 4, 7 and 8, again, it says, So give yourself to God. Stand against the devil. And he will run away from you. Yes. How are you going to stand against him? Oh, God. He's giving you power. He's giving you authority. Yes. So use that authority. Amen. Now you start speaking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Say, wait a minute. I'm not going to receive that anymore. You take authority and speak the word and tell him. Verse 8 says, come near to God and he will come near to, near to you. Draw close to him, he'll draw close mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, you are sinners, so sin, so clean sin out of your life. Yes. You are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Oh. Make your think, thinking pure. Make uh -huh. your thinking pure. Yes. Where is the battlefield? Mm -hmm. In the mind. In the mind. And what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. You can change the way you think. Yes. But you yes. have to renew it. Yes. As often as needed. Yes. Renew your mind with the word of mind. God. Amen. So you don't stop think so you don't be thinking that way anymore. That's it. You are somebody. You're a child yes. of God. You're a yes. winner. You're a champion. You start confessing those things for yes. yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. people, jealous people, jealous oh, world, they're gonna say things about you anyway. Mm. But you know what? It's just gonna wash off right. me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to receive it. I'm not going to accept it. Amen. That's that's not right. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Romans 8, uh, 31. You know, there's Jesus. He's speaking to that storm. Uh, Romans 8, 31. There we are. It says, what shall we say to these things? Mm -hmm. If God is for us, who can, who can be against us? God is with me. I don't care what's coming against me. Uh -huh. What I'm facing. I don't care what giants I'm facing today. God is with me. Yes. Uh -huh. come, come on. <laughs> Bring it on. It says David ran to the giants. Amen. Giants yeah. are laughing at him. Everybody else, you know. <laughs> and you know what? When he uh -huh. when he killed the giant, that Philistine army turned around and ran. <laughs> they were afraid. That was their hero. That was their hero, yeah. And you got a little bitty guy. Mm. Mm. Put him down. Yeah. I say you what? Praise God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> keep going, Kurt. We're going to be closing here. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, New Living Translation says, We are pressed on every side yes. by trouble, but we are not crushed. That's it. We are perplexed, mm -hmm. but not That's driven not to despair. Mm -hmm. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. That's it. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4, chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's a awesome translation there. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank yes. you, Lord, for being there for me. Amen. Amen. And keep going. A couple more and we're done. Thank you, That's it. It says, casting all your cares on Him because He cares for you. First yes. Peter 5 and 7. We just have to do it. Mm -hmm. We just have to do it. You let all these things just come in you and, and take root and take place. And like, what do I do? You know when your trash cans at home are full? Oh gosh. You gotta take them That's to the it. dump. Amen. Mm -hmm. You gotta do something. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your house is full of trash. That's it. Go well, when you when this mind is full of trash, you gotta clean it up. Mm -hmm. yes. Renew your mind and dump it out and cast yes. it out That's it. That's on it. him. So yes. quit thinking that way. I don't want to do that. You know, I, I want to have a clear mind. Yes. When he speaks, I want to be That's there. That's it. Amen. That's Keep it. going. Yeah. Woo! This is uh, another one, Psalms, that we're close with this, but Psalms 55 and 22, NIV, says, Cast all your cares on the Lord, for He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Amen. Amen. So let's, yes. we, we just got to stop, not only speak the word, but mm -hmm. exercise the word and exactly. live the word. Yes. Amen. So let's remember this. Amen. Amen. And in closing, and everybody says, Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say this. What to do when trouble comes? And we looked at uh, Psalms 8, 7, all the way to the front, Carmen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it says, in the day of trouble, in the day, it said, in the day of my trouble, <laughs> in the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, Lord. Amen. And for you will answer me. Yes. And there we go right there. In the day of my trouble, 
I will call to you, for you will answer. You know, I have faith and believe he's going to answer my prayers. Amen. And I have faith and believe that he's going to answer your prayers too. Amen. God is no has no favorites. You know, That's we're it. all no his. Respect no I respect of persons. You know, uh -huh. we're all his. So he's not only answering my prayers, he is going to answer your prayers. Yes. When the storms come, spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Meditate upon his word. Be in his presence. Believe yes. God's promises. Count your blessings. Amen. And get rid of excess baggage. Amen. Time wasters, dream busters. Oh, All these gosh. people that just want to take up your oh, time gosh. say, wait a minute. Mm -mm. If they're going to take God's time, say, you know what? I'm gonna, you're going to have to put a stop yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. That's taking things, peoples that are mm -hmm. taking place of God, just let them go. Say, yep. uh-uh, God first. Amen, God first. Guard your words. Speak faithful words only. Mm -hmm. And put on the whole armor of God. God is our refuge and our strength mm -hmm. and ever present in, in help. Uh, in, in trouble hide, hide in him, believe in him, depend on him remember what he has done be still before uh, before him and acknowledge his power in your life and circumstances mm -hmm. amen, so let's remember this I hope you received something yes. <laughs> amen, I did so yes. hallelujah yes. In closing, I just Lord. wanted to say you know those of you that are watching <clears throat> listening, it's time quit running it's time to come to him. Mm -hmm. It's time to come home, you know. Amen. He's not giving up on you. He didn't yes, put yes. you here to lose. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Amen. He put you here to win. Yes. He put you here to be champions. Mm -hmm. He put you here because he's got a mission for you. Yes. And he's not giving up on your yes. mission. You've given up on it. And you had other plans. But you know what? It's time to repent. Confess your sin and come to him and say, Lord, be my yes. Lord and Savior. And he's going to say, <clears throat> good. Now, get busy for me. Be available. Be there for me when I call on you. Amen. Amen. And we just got to get stronger and stronger in the word. And get in the word. Meditate on it. And spend time with him. Amen. And the Bible says, listen. When it gets hard, just remember this. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Here's sickness in your body. I speak to my body all the time because it's got aches and pains and all those things. So I just say, by Jesus Christ, body be healed. Mm -hmm. Malfunctions, be healed in Jesus' name. I don't receive these malfunctions. Amen. I want everything in my body to function just the way he created to yes. function in Jesus' name. Yeah. So I speak to malfunctions to go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. My body is healed from the crown of the head to the soles of my feet mm -hmm. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Time again. Go to our website. Amen. NBCPO Box 2. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> NBCBigBen.com. <laughs> Hit that donate button. Uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Church of the Big Ben. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Amen. So start living for Him. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <laughs>